Hi, Carlitos, how are you? Fine, teacher, how are you? Ah, pretty good, a little bit tired, but I'm okay. A little bit tired too. <laughs> yeah, a little bit tired too. Yeah. I'm always tired. <laughs> I, maybe you have not noticed, but I'm always tired. <laughs> Yes, I, I, I need my bed this morning. You need a bed right now? Oh, that's cool. With your teddy bear included? What? With your teddy bear? The teddy bear, huh? Yeah, with your little puppet? Teddy bear? Osito? No, 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 no. You, Only... you don't have a teddy bear? No, a Snoopy, Nama. <laughs> oh, Snoopy. Oh, well, but that's your teddy bear. We can say that. Charlie you have Brown a Snoopy. And Snoopy. <laughs> uh, but you have it there on your bed, yeah? Or no? Yeah. <sighs> Do you have a Snoopy on your bed? See? ¿Sí? ¿Tienes a Snoopy en tu cama? No, 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 teacher. Ah. Only, only oh, okay. I'm joking. Ah, okay. No, hey, teacher. what about your dog? I remember that you have a dog. Yes, uh, it's okay. It's all right. What is his name? Uh, Loki. L Loki, right? Yeah, I remember that. But I, I told it uh, but... Loco. <laughs> ah, it's Loco. crazy. Really? <laughs> yes. Why yes, is it crazy? Is. How old is him? Uh, it's crazy, very crazy. All people talking, talk, talk, talk. Yeah, war. Really? So how do you say ladrar? Bark. Bark, 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 bark. So he barks to all people. To all every people, person that approaches your house. Motors, motorcycles, um. everything. <laughs> uh, uh, a cat, uh, how do you say, uh, insect. Mosquitoes. Moves. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's crazy. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You know what? Uh, we also have besides. Oh my God! Is it going to be a, like a guys' night? Because I have what? Miguelito and Gerardo. I don't know why. Mm. <gasps> Only boys. Oh, yeah. I'm blessed. Wow. Yeah, hey, you see, it? I saw you. But he is arriving. Oh my goodness! That would be really well, good. Today, today is only men the first. I don't know. Well, right now you, you are right first. <laughs> My goodness, yeah. Gerardito has changed his beverage. He used to drink a uh, ginger tea and now he's drinking like a diet now, soda, right? Now it's a diet soda. Yes. Di you change it. Is it hot? Yes, very hot in, in, this, in, uh, this, in this place. That could be the reason why, yeah. <laughs> How are you, Miguelito? Oops, oops. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It's been a pleasure to have you. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to be blessed with all these handsome boys. Woo! Jorito. <laughs> Hi. Yay. Hi. How are you, Jorito? We missed you just a day. Yes. I can be in class yesterday because. Uh, I was a little busy in, uh, in at work. I can't imagine that. So you couldn't attend to class yesterday to do your work. Also, you too, Gerardito. Yes, but I, know, I, know. I know. I know. Sometimes it's like for, I'm not busy for the work. You know, I'm busy for the activity for my little boys. <laughs> oh, for your little boys, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah, you're still busy. I know. It's, it's not easy. I understand that. But I'm so happy that you're here, that you make an extra effort. And you came just a really on a really good day, you know. Really, really good day. Ah, oh, you know what? No boys' night anymore. We have Bree here. Sorry, boys. <laughs> Bree has just arrived a few seconds ago. Hi, Bree. How are you, girl? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You know what? We were talking with the guys that it's supposed to be boys' night because only Gerardito, Miguelito, Jorgito, and Carlitos, I'm right here. But you arrived, so no more boys' night. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Brie had just arrived a few seconds ago. I was uh, <laughs> explaining to the guys, Brie, that they came a really good day because yesterday, do you remember, guys, that we were talking about um, holidays and festivities and all the stuff? Do you remember that? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. And also, do you remember that we saw 
a relative clause of time that is the word when, remember? Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I mean, a little. Uh, yes, I remember the hard word. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but uh, we saw, guys, that most of the time, Carlitos uh, said something that when we use when, most of the time we use as a, as a question, right? But in this case, we're going to use the word when, cuando, in the middle of the sentence to as a relative clause to help us explain what do you do on a specific holiday, on a specific vacation or family tradition? For example, um, we saw about, I think we saw many um, holidays and festivities yesterday, right? Some of them that we have here in El Salvador, like Pupusas Day, for example, right? That is um, November 18, right, Carlitos? Every, uh, no. Uh, see, November 18th. Exactly, yes. November 18th. And there are some festivities that we share in common with other countries, such as Children's Day, right? Uh, the Day of the Death, etc. So we use the word when to explain what do we do on that day. For example, um, Mother's Day. You can say that Mother's Day is a day when family get together and um, make a dinner for their mom, for example, right? So you see the word when it give us or help us in this case as a relative clause of time, it help us to describe what is the activities that we do in a specific holiday, right? Or tradition. All right, for example, we saw also Children's Day. I, I think it's October the 1st here in El Salvador. October the 1st, not like Alex says, October 1st, <laughs> right? October 1st is different. I mean, October the 1st is, is a day when Salvadorians celebrate or congrats their children, right? Their children. So yesterday we saw that uh, when as a relative class of time. However, guys, we also can use when. Hi, Nubi, good night. We also can use good, when. Good night, teacher. Not, all, not only as a relative class of time, but also uh, as, a re as an advert of time. And in this case, you put it in a different position on the sentence. We're going to talk about that later. Don't worry, don't get panic, right? We're going to do something right now because you know that the teacher always likes to make a recap from previous class, but I would need your help in this case. Don't, don't worry, Miguelito. I love Miguelito. He's a happy face like that. Like, <laughs> what is she has in her mind? Don't, you're going to figure it Thank out you. later Thank on. You. Yeah. Okay. We're going, that is going to be really easy. Actually, guys, um, I have selected two columns, basically one column, column A refers to the holidays and the column B refers to the activities that they're supposed to practice on a specific holiday. So what I want your help is to help me match the information on column A with column B. However, you have to help me and you have to use the relative cause of time when. Okay. Remember? Mm. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, so let me just yes. a couple of minutes. All righty. Hey, hey, welcome, Nelsie. Welcome, Boris. Welcome, Jesse. Welcome to the jungle. Sorry. Welcome to today's class. <laughs> All righty. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with them. <laughs> there you go. Okay. We, we have from one to six. New Year's Eve, Noche de Fin de Año, April's Full Day, Dia de los Tontos, Summer, mm. eh, Verano, Valentine's Day, eh, Dia de San Valentín, Labor Day, Dia del Trabajo, and Autumn is Otoño, right? So this guy's section A 
is basically the celebration of the holiday. And the section B is what you do on that holiday. So do me a favor, who can help me uh, with the first one? For example, um, New Year's Eve is a night when? What do we do in that New Year's Eve? A, B, B. Have a party yeah. with friends. Number C. Number C. Number C. Number C. Letter C. Letter C. The people have cat. parties with families C. and friends. Okay, so people have parties with family and friends. Right. Very good. Parties or parties. Either or is fine. Very good job. What about number two? April, April Fool's, Day, Fool's is, Day is a day when? They, they win. Uh, no, no, letter F. People sometimes yeah. play tricks or friends. Very good. Exactly. Play tricks. Trucos. Right? Trucos. Play tricks. Yeah. O hacen bromas. Right? Very good. Excellent. Good job. A time when? A summertime is a time when? Number B. Number B or letter B? Letter B. Letter B. Letter B. The students have a break from school. You mean yes. uh, the Beatles song? Let it be. Let yes. it be. No, right. Letter B, right? Okay. <laughs> yes. All righty. Yes. Letter B as a boy. Fantastic. What about number four? Valentine's Day. Day. It's a day no. when? Letter E. No. Letter E as in echo? Someone. Alrighty. So people express their love to someone. Very good. What about Labor Day? Is a day when? D. Literally. D. People D. in many countries are workers. Very good. Fantastic. And what about number six? Autumn is the season when? Number eight. North America. Uh, teacher, what's the meaning? Autumn. Otoño. Otoño. Oh, mm -hmm. Otoño. Oh. Mm -hmm. Otoño. Otoño. North Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. En el caso de nosotros, Otoño, eh, eh, lo que pasa, chiquillos, es que um, aquí, aquí no hay, right? We only have yeah. two uh, seasons, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But in, uh, in North Winter. America, autumn, <laughs> yes. Autumn uh -huh. starts from November. November. November, yeah. Donde se empiezan a caer las hojitas. There you go. So guys, okay, now that we already identify what is the activity that we use, that we do in a specific holiday, uh -huh. let's practice the whole sentence together, okay? Practiquemos la sentence todos juntos, ¿les parece? Okay. Mm -hmm. New Year's Eve is a night when people, no? When people have parties with family oh. and friends. Can you please repeat it for us? New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is a. New Year's Eve is a night when people. The people. The people. When people sometimes play tricks. Exactly. When people have parties with family and friends. Very good job. Okay, I'm going to do it one by one, so you you don't like like. Uh, uh, yeah, mix please. it up, right? Mix it up. Yeah, Very yeah. good. One by one. Okay, mm -hmm. para que no se confundan. Yeah. There, you, there you go. So, the first one you said, New Year's Eve is, is a night when? Is a little yeah. People have parties with family and friends. Very good. Very good. When people mm -hmm. have parties with family and friends. Very good. April Fool's Day is a day when? Can you please repeat it, guys? People sometimes no, play the, the whole friends. sentence. Yeah. Oh, April Fool's Day is, is a day when, when people day sometimes when play tricks, tricks on friends. friends. Sometimes play tricks on friends. Very good. Uh, let me double check. Nelcy, I want Nel I want to listen to Nelcy right now. Can okay. you please read for me number three? Um, summer is a no. It's a time. It's, uh, I can see. <laughs> you cannot see? Uh, Would you like no. me to make it a little bit bigger? Uh, yes, oh, but sure. I think that it's my internet connection. Uh, let, me, let me double check. Okay. Uh, uh, Teacher, what you're doing? Okay, cool. There you go. What about now? Uh, okay, okay. Much better? Okay. okay yes. Cool. Okay. Now in this... The third summer is a time is a time when um, when summer is a time when letter B um, letter B 
students have students have a break from school. Very good. Now I want more confidence. Quiero más confianza when you say that. Okay. Do it again. Do it okay. again. Okay. Okay. Summer is a time when students have a break from from school. Very good. Más confianza, pero no me hagas pausa en when. Dámelo de un solo. Okay. Summer is a time when students have a break from school. No, porque no me pronunciaste el break. Dale otra vez. Okay. Summer is a time when students have a break from school. Ajá, no, otra vez. Okay. Summer is a time when students have a break from school. Ese from no lo oigo. No lo oigo bien. Okay. Otra vez. Summer is a time when students have a break from school. Very good. Now it's good. Hoy oh, sí, mira. Okay. Excellent job. <laughs> Si yo no oigo una palabrita, te lo hago repetir hasta que te llevemos a la, a la clase. Al final, no me tengo. Ok. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Brie, letter four. No, letter four. Number four. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Ah, otra vez, porque se te faltó el tú. Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Very good. Pero sabes qué? ¿Qué te pasa si lo haces como as passion? <laughs> really? <laughs> Valentine's Day is a day when people express their love to someone. Vaya, hoy sí. Very good job. Excellent. <laughs> Carlitos, number four. Number four, number five, sorry. Number five. Okay. Labor Day is a day when the people in many countries honor workers. When the people or when people? When people, when people. Uh -huh. uh, so do it again, yeah. do it again. Labor Day is a day when people in many countries honor works. Honor works or honor workers? Sorry, workers. De él otra vez. Yes. Labor Day is a day when people in many countries honor workers. No, workers. Workers. Otra workers. vez. Labor Day is a day when people in many countries honor workers. Very good. Excellent. And last but not least, uh, Mr. Jorgito, number five, please. Six. Oh, oh sorry, six. six. Teacher, what happened to you? Yeah, six. <laughs> Autumn is the season when the people... When the people... Where... Sorry, autumn sí. is the season when North Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. Ajá, casi, pero la pronunciation es la que ya me dolió. Vamos a ver. <laughs> Just listen carefully this pronunciation. Okay. North. North. Americans. American. Celebrate. Celebrate. Thanksgiving. American. Celebrate. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Very good. Go ahead. One more time. Autumn is the season when North North Americans celebrate Thanksgiving. Very good. Now, yes, much better. Very good. Very, acuérdense que North, Norte, we have a TH together, right? So it's pronounced as Z as in zebra, North. Igual como thanks. Thanks. Mira, Thanksgiving. North America. Menos mal que no estoy enfrente, sino para ser silvestre ahorita. Very good. Thanksgiving, North America. Very good. Very good. Good job. Entonces, ven cómo funciona when como relative class. Ven cómo funciona. Puede ser a day si es un día. Right? Como fools. Eh, eh. Puede ser a night. Como donde se, por ejemplo, eh, noche buena, que la gente dice noche buena, right? Es una noche. Entonces usted dice, no, usted no va a decir a day, usted va a decir a night, ¿sí? Porque es una noche. Pero también puede decir un día, the day. ¿Ya? ¿Ve cómo funciona buena ahorita? ¿Ve? ¿Ve ¿Sí? Yo me acuerdo que teníamos un uh, hungry. Alex, welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the class. Pero antes del hungry, um, para introducir el when y otros más que vamos a, a ver como advert of time, Albert class of time. Vamos a oír algo. Um, let me check. I remember 
that the homework was, guys, that you uh, write in a piece of paper. So, are you talking about your wedding, remember? Sí, ¿se recuerdan que your wedding day? A menos los que estuvieron ayer. No se preocupe a, a Jorgito, a Gerardito y a Nelsi. Se salvaron, right? Ok. Eh, quisiera oírlos, aunque sea uno o dos. Thank you, Miguelito. Go ahead. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's my anniversary is uh, when I forget uh, the date. <laughs> uh, I kill you, man. My wife. <laughs> Yes. Come on! Don't be like that, Miguelito. You forgot the wedding. No way. You forgot the day. The anniversary. Shame on you. Come on. No. But tell, but, but tell me something. When is the date that you celebrate your anniversary? The date, oh, la fecha. Uh, uh, <laughs> December 1st. Okay. So you, you can say December 1st. Is, uh, is the day when, when, when I forget my anniversary. <laughs> when when is my uh, wedding anniversary, but I forgot. Dilo otra vez. Uh, my, uh, December 1st. Uh, my anniversary is it's a day when I forget my anniversary. Uh, but my wife forgive uh, forgive you yeah. mm, no I, I think she will kill you probably. but she said no way <laughs> okay so you said miguelito that <laughs> december 1st is the day uh, when please. you celebrate your wedding or your okay. anniversary Dilo otra vez. december 1st is the days when when my I wife and i my wife and i celebrate, celebrate our or our anniversary. Very good, that's it. But I forgot today. <laughs> Casi hey. no. Yeah, but she forgives you because she loves you. Okay. <laughs> Very good, Miguelito. All right, good job. What about you, Bri? I, I knew it, teacher. I'm writing the homework right now. You're writing the homework. Mm -hmm. but, but, but at least she's honest, I right? Okay, okay cool. <laughs> Let's listen to you. This is okay. true. My anniversary is on January 11th. Mm -hmm. uh, the day is when I used to cook a special dinner for my husband. Mm -hmm. And the tradition is, is enjoy uh, our dinner with our sons. And my husband used to forget the day. Like okay, me. like Miguelito. So, yes. when you, so when you listen to him, you're like, mm, that sounds familiar to me. Okay. <laughs> Oops. All righty. And last but not least, let me listen to Dinita. What about you, girl? I'm going to, I want to listen to girls' information. Ay, Miguelito. <laughs> Dinita, what about you? When is your anniversary? Or your wedding anniversary? Hopefully, Dinita is here, right? Or well, she has a bad connection. I think so. What about you, Nuvi? Okay. Uh, our, our anniversary is on April 21st. 21st. Oh, good. 21st. Uh, in this date is when we celebrate with our children hmm. uh, in a small party. Oh, really? We celebrate. Yeah, we celebrate together. Uh, as a family. With, yes, with our children. Um, mm. we, we make a special dinner mm. and buy a uh, piñata. And okay. Candies. Piñata. And candies. And candies. Oh, that's yes. good. We are, we are very happy uh, when, when our children uh, have fun. Yeah, exactly. That is what is the parents, right? When parents love to to see their children smiling, yeah. right, and having fun. Yeah. yeah, that happens to be with my puppies. <laughs> so I, I I can't imagine that is <laughs> that is more when you saw your children, right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so it's basically, it's exactly the same as Brie, right? That you celebrate as a family. Okay, very good. So guys, uh, thank you so much for sharing the date that you celebrate your wedding. Uh, of course, each of you have a specific date, right? That you celebrate, etc. And basically, each of you um, celebrate it in a different way, right? Maybe the same way is not the same. Maybe yes, maybe not. But you know what? There are some countries that they have really interesting traditions talking about weddings. Really, really interesting. Yes, not only the ceremony or the steps to follow, right, when they got married, but also the gift that the... Um, the, the invited people give to the new newlyweds, newlyweds is Resin uh, Casalos, newlyweds. Uh, but also there are some times that the newlyweds, the bride and the groom give presents to the people who, who they invite for, for the ceremony. So it's really interesting. Guys, I want you to pay attention to this conversation. This conversation is between two close friends. One is American and the other one is from China or for Japan. And um, they're looking the weather, the, the wedding uh, picture book, okay? And I want you guys to pay attention how the girl describes how was her wedding, okay? And also we can discuss what is exactly what she said. And if for you it's really interesting, is the first time that you listen to it, Etc. Okay, I'm gonna play the audio one more time, only one time. I teacher, you are so bad. Yes, only one time. So I need a hundred percent concentration on this. Okay, yes, <laughs> and then of course we're going to discuss vocabulary if you have some. But right now I want you guys to pay attention not to the whole conversation, but at least to the general idea about what she's talking about. How was her wedding? I love that wedding, you know? I wish I could marry a Japanese guy because I love that kind of rituals, and but I'm, I'm happy with my Salvadorian guy. <laughs> All righty. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with you. Oops, no, that's not one. That's not the one. That's not the one. That's the, that's the one. Yes. There you go. 53, exercise eight. Conversation. Wedding day. Part A. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But afterward, we had a reception with family and friends. So, what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Interesting, right? So if you, if you notice, guys, we have two parts, the ceremony or the spiritual ceremony, right? And then we have the reception area. May I ask you something? Did you catch the information? How is the ceremony in Japan? How they got married? No? Tell me the truth. Pesan fritos. No. <laughs> yeah. You want to play one more time? Menciona, yes, menciona un lugar en Japón, pero... Ah, ok. Menciona un lugar de Japón, de Japón pero no, no, el nombre no. I know, I know. Ya, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ya después vamos a, a pronunciar bien. Ya van a ver. Yo sé por qué. Ajá. Vaya, pues. Entonces vamos a hacer, vamos a dividirlo en dos. First, I want you guys to listen. What is the spiritual ceremony about the getting married in Japan? And then we're going to talk about the reception. Okay? Uh, let's do it again. Ay, qué barbaridad. Esto es chico. 
<ríe> Miguelito. Eh, me voy a quedar con tu esposa, no me entiendes. <ríe> All right. There you go. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, I'm just kidding. All right. So let's do it one more time. There you go. Okay. Page 53, exercise 8. Conversation. Wedding day. Part A. Listen and practice. Your wedding pictures are really beautiful, Emiko. Thank you. Those pictures are from right after the ceremony. Where was the ceremony? At a shrine. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. That's interesting. Were there a lot of people there? Well, usually only family members and close friends go to the ceremony. But after. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So we're good on that, right? Están viendo okay. fotos hablando de la ceremonia. Okay, very yeah. good. Excellent. In a shrine. In a shrine. At a yeah. shrine. ¿Saben qué es eso? Yeah. At a shrine. ¿Saben qué es eso? No. No. <laughs> Santuario. En un templo. Oh. Ah. Acuérdense que, que Japón son muy budistas, right? Sí. O taoístas. Mm -hmm. Entonces, dice, sometimes we get a ceremony on a shrine. Que es, es un templo. Pero se, mm -hmm. se recuerdan que, que cómo van vestidos. Do you remember that? Que lo que dijo ella. Ceremonial. Ceremonial what? Ceremonial, Ceremonial clothes. We are traditional. Son traditionals. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Es tra como yeah. tradicional. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. The meeting is only the, the family members. And exactly. Exactly, Nelson. You're right. In the oh. in the in the ceremony when they got married, only as Elsie said, the family and the closest friends. Okay, very good. Good job. Shrine. How you spell shrine? Any idea? No. Saben cómo se escribe shrine? No. Mm -hmm. I will spell it to you right now. Se los voy a escribir. Shrine. Templo. Shrine. Mm -hmm. Así como el que sale en Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> like <that. laughs> Something like that. <laughs> right? sí, que ya, se, ya se fijaron que a la teacher le encantan los cartoons, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. I love it by heart. <laughs> Todo lo que tiene que ver con Asian, este, Hindis. Tengo una chica. Eh, sí, Lunitus. El Lunitus, sí, pero anime no soy tanto. Lo mucho Naruto, pero de ahí nadie más. <risa> pero yo, pues me, pero yo, yo me quedo con Pikachu. Tu <risa> best plataforma plata es Disney Plus. Yes, exactly, Disney Plus. <risa> How you know? Ah. Yeah. I and Netflix. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> All right. So we already uh, listened about the ceremony part. Now, guys, let's listen to the rest. What happened uh, basically in the reception moment? Okay. So let's continue listening to the conversation. And this conversation has three parts. So we're going to listen to the second part. That is starting about the, the, the reception area. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. Woohoo. Word, we had a reception with family and friends. So what are receptions like in Japan? There's a big dinner, and after the meal, the guests give speeches or sing songs. It sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. It really is. And then, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. The guests get presents? Yes, and the guests give money to the bride and groom. Aha! Uh -huh. So, what does it mean, groom? A groom is novio. Ah, recuerda lo que yo le dije cuando hicimos el picture. Yes, I know. Bride and groom. Groom, bride and groom. Exactly. Bride and groom. Bride and groom. How do you spell the the groom? Yes, ahorita voy. Bride and groom. Qué qué niños más impacientes. Uh-huh. Bye. 
Espérense, yo creo que Bright se me fue una tía porque es que, porque es que se me va cada vez el Bright. No, Bright es, es déjeme, déjeme ponerlo Bright. Bright es Bride. Bridge. Sí, es que estoy pensando en otra cosa, yo. Bridge. No, sí, es un gran, es un gran, es un gran, eh, ¿cómo se llama? Puente, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, Bright and Groom. Sí, el Groom se está bien, el Bright es el me fue. Muy bien. No les pasa en WhatsApp que a veces cuando quieren poner una cosa les pone otra. Yeah. Son exactly the same. Uh -huh. Y como mi teclado tiene tres idiomas, a veces tengo que cambiar. Bright, bright, y ahí el bright. pequeño detalle. Bright. Very good. So, guys, now we are in the reception moment. So, what happened in the reception moment? Is they do have friends, right? And family. But what happened in the reception mom, uh, uh, moment? What happened? They receive presents. Oh, they have a big presents. meal, right? They receive presents, exactly. But who received presents? Dinner. A dinner. So ah, the, good. The guests. Uh -huh. Exactly. Guests. So in this case, it's the opposite way, right? Because bride and groom give presents to the depression. To the people who arrive, family and friends. I'm like, what? But also, do you remember that they also give a the bride and groom presents as well money money yes Mary, money. money why do they say that or no 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 not no saying ah. what 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 kind of gifts of present well in this case yes they, they will give um the invitation or, or the, the people who has been invited to the wedding they give a um Present. Basically, present in this case, money or oh. fortune, right? Remember that they are so suspicious, sería supersticiosos, right? So they give oh. money for that to the bride and the groom. But let's listen, guys. What is exactly the presents that the bride and the groom give to the people who arrived to the party? Okay, let's listen to that. It, this is the part number three. So let me just a couple of minutes. Let me play this one more time. It's going to be the second, the sequence part, or the second part of this conversation. There you go. Okay, let me share right now with you, and let's continue listening to that detail. It's really interesting, right? Hmm, I never seen. Well, I had never attended to that to a type of that part of wedding like that. So it will be really good. Fifty-three okay. exercise eight part B. Hmm. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? Oh, it's interesting. I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we gave each guest a box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. So tell me, guys. What is exactly the present that the bride and the groom give to the people that he invited to the party? ¿Qué es lo que le dan el novio y la novia a los invitados? Present. No. Pero, ¿Qué uh, oyeron? ¿Qué oyeron? I can't, I can't hear you. A box. I, no. A box. Ajá, a box. A box of what? <laughs> Ajá. You weren't paying attention. Ajá. Ok, démoslo otra vez, pues. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Page 53, exercise 8, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did the bride and groom give each guest? I'm curious. What did you and your husband give everyone? Well, sugar is a symbol of happiness in Japan. So we sugar. gave each guest a box filled with sweets. What a nice custom. It sounds like it was a wonderful day. Oh, it really was. Aha. Uh -huh. So, page 53. You said that what is exactly do they give to the people who invite to the celebration? Sugar. Sugar. sugar Why? Sugar. Why sugar? It's a symbol it's a of symbol. what? Happiness. Oh, oh happiness. happiness. Pero entonces le dan la tacita de azúcar como el profesor Girafale con la doña Florín. O la, o la bolsa, <laughs> o la libra de azúcar, o qué es lo que le dan? In a box. A box, box of what? A box, a box of sugar. Of oh, sugar? <laughs> no. A box of candies. 
Oh. Dulcitos. Ay, qué rico. Oh. <laughs> Very good, right? Yeah. You, so, me guys, try. let me ask you: Do you like do you do you like that kind of celebration? Sí. Les gusta cómo cómo celebran allá? Oh. It's interesting, right? Yes. Is this the first time that you listen about this type of tradition? Estas tradiciones. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do they, let me ask you: Is it similar to uh, to what we celebrate here? Es similar a lo no. que estamos aquí. No. Hay cosas que sí son no. common, right? Yeah. For example. Ah, uh -huh, the money. The what else? The present. The present. The and the reception. The reception. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? But 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 the presents mm -hmm. uh, are different. Exactly. Are different, right? It's not sugar, <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. It's not candies, all right? Exactly. Most of the time. Uh, they give uh, something that will help the newlyweds, again, newlyweds, recién casados, newlyweds, uh, in their house, right? They give pajamas, they give towels, they give hasta, hasta escoba le dan groom, right? <laughs> Etc. <cetera>, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Everything, any, everything that's going to help you in your, in your new house, right? Glasses, glasses right? Dishes. Bahia completa. Ahí, eh, very good. And, and guys, the bride and the groom here in El Salvador, they don't give something to the, to the, to the people who invite, right? Ustedes no, no dan regalos a ellos, ¿verdad? Ellos le dan regalos a ustedes, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. Only, only the, the, the meal. Ah, los recuerdos. Yeah, uh -huh. Ah, okay, that's interesting. A little gift. Uh -huh. A little gift, right? to remember the special location, right? Special Very location. good. Mm, interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pero, quiero ver, le gusta. ¿Se hubieran querido casar en Japón? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay, no. All no. righty. Guys, ¿por qué les puse esto? Ah, for a reason. Por una razón. Um, si ustedes se fijan, when the, she was talking about the weather, the wedding day, eh, ella utilizó el when, pero lo utilizó de una manera diferente. Lo utilizó de una manera diferente. Dice, when people get married in Japan, ¿se acuerdan que lo utilizó al principio? When people get married in Japan, they bla, 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 bla. Okay. Porque, uh, en ese caso, el when, hay, hay otras más, hay otros uh, adverbial causes of time, pero en ese caso, when, ni es una um, um, relative clause of time, ni es una WH question. En ese caso, cuando el when, que no es pregunta, sino que se pone el principio. Oh, es connection. Es un, no es connection tampoco. No. Connection es cuando es un relative clause of time, cuando vive en medio, lo que acabamos de ver ayer. Pero mm. en este caso, en este caso, cuando when va al principio de la oración y no tiene nada que ver con preguntas, sino que tú dices, cuando, es como que dijeras, cuando la gente se casa en Japón, ellos, y tú empiezas a describir los acontecimientos, right? Cuando haces eso, el when se vuelve otra función. El when pasa a ser lo que nosotros conocemos como adverbial clauses of time. Adverbial clauses of time. ¿sí? O eh, una, una palabra, un adverbio de tiempo. ¿sí? Como por ejemplo, tú puedes decir before, tal cosa, tal cosa, tal cosa, o after, tararara, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, puedes decir algo, quiero ver un ejemplo que te puedo dar. Es este, mira. Eh, puedes decir. After dinner. Um, Ajá. After the my... food is served. ¿Te acuerdas lo que estamos viendo de la, de la, de la wedding de Japón? Que acabamos de ir. After the food is served. Después de que la comida se sirvió. The guests give speeches or sing songs. Los invitados dan discursos o cantan canciones. Aquí no hacemos eso, ¿verdad? Pero allá en Japón sí. Entonces, también puedes decir, before the guests leave, antes de que los, eh, los invitados se vayan, the bride and the groom 
give them presents. ¿Sí? But hay muchos adverbial clauses of time. Pero en este caso vamos a ver solo tres. When, al principio de la oración. Before, al principio de la oración. Y after, al principio de la oración. Tres. When es cuando, before es antes y after es después, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Entonces, usted lo utiliza como adverbio de tiempo. O sea, recuerden que en español hay diferentes tiempos de adverbio, ¿verdad? De modo, de tiempo, de lugar, etc. En este caso, vamos a ver en esas palabras ustedes ya las han usado. Pero dependiendo de donde usted lo ponga en la oración, juega un papel en la semántica o en la sintaxis de la oración. Recuerde qué gran maestra de lingüística me sentí. All right. All right. No, yo, yo llevé gramática superior en la universidad. Eso, olvídense, eso fue una, uh, uh, unas oraciones casi de toda la pizarra. Pero bueno, eh, me encantaba, me encantaba. Siempre me gustaban gustado los idiomas muchísimo. Entonces, ven, ven cómo es la cosa. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, usted dice, eh, quiero ver, ¿qué tradición tienen ustedes aquí en El Salvador? Cuando se casen. Por ejemplo, en la acuérdense de su day, es su special day, Alexito, acuérdate. Eh. Aubrey, on, eh, Miguelito, Boris, Gerardito. Cuando estaba ya en la recepción. Ah, ¿saben qué? Yo me acuerdo de algo que he ido a las bodas, incluso la mía. Ah, ¿Verdad que eh, antes de que la gente se vaya, ¿verdad? Los guests, acuérdense que guests es invitados, ¿sí? Te lo voy a escribir acá. Guests. Estos son invitados, guests. Está en el chat. Entonces, antes de que los invitados se vayan, ¿verdad que se sirve el café y el cake? Aquí. ¿Ya que sí? Yeah. Yes. Ajá. Yes. Ajá. The Coke. Oh, the Coke. Bueno, en el caso de los chiquillos, right? Ok. O el fresco de horchata, si quieren, right? Ok. So, entonces, usamos, usamos una uh, adverbial clause of time con eso, right? Sería, en español diríamos, antes de que los invitados se vayan, se sirve el café y el pastel. ¿Cómo lo diríamos en inglés? Before the guests. Before the guests is what? Before the guests. Go, went. No, leave. Leave it. Yeah, before the guests. Leave. Uh-huh. We serve. We serve. Before the guests and cards. The guests and cards. We serve. We serve. We serve. We serve. We serve. The coffee and cake. Very good. Muy bien. Ya ven cómo usamos el adverbial class of time. Va al principio. ¿Y qué pasa después? After. Normalmente, ¿vea? cuando termina ya la ceremonia religiosa y todo, ¿dónde se va? A la recepción, ¿no es cierto? Ajá, entonces, ¿cómo diríamos? Después de que se termina la, la, la boda religiosa o el, o el servicio religioso, te vas a la recepción. No, después, después. Before es is, is antes y después es after. After the... After the... Ceremony, after the ceremony. After the, uh-huh. The reception. Uh-huh. The, the bride, the groom, and the guests, uh-huh. Go, go, go to the reception. Very good. Entonces usted dice, after the spiritual ceremony ends, ahí va, ¿verdad? The bride, the groom, and the guests go to the reception place. ¿Verdad? ¿Ven cómo va la cosa? ¿De cómo funciona? Yes. No es difícil, ¿verdad? Es que no es difícil. No. Ah. No. Alex. <risa> no. <risa> Dice, Alex, se oyó algo macabro esa, esa risita. <risa> like, crack, ah, ah, ah. What? What? <risa> Perdona. Dime, Gerardito. Teacher, in, in the bear and the simple past. No, perdón, the, 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 present. the present. The present. Sí. The simple present. Simple present. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the time. Se lo voy a enseñar aquí. Ah, antes de irme, le voy a enseñar algo bien chivo. ¿Quieren ver cómo es la, el, el outfit? El outfit es como yes. el custom de, de japonés. Yes. The clothes. Wow. The clothes. The traditional clothes. 
Vamos a ver, lo voy a hacer más grandecito. Espérenme, ya lo voy a compartir con ustedes. There you go. Vale. Ahorita lo voy a compartir para que vean qué chivo es. A mí me gusta. Miren, ven. Oh, I don't like it. You don't like it? Vale, no. miren, this is, this is the groom, este es el novio, ¿verdad? This is the bride. Ajá, miren, los kimonos, ¿verdad? Las, las, los invitados, right? Bueno, la familia, right? Y este es el shroom, miren, guys. Este es el templo, miren. ¿Sí? Hoy sí. Very good. Chicos, hoy quiero que practiquemos algo bien chévere. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación de algunas um, sentences que ustedes escucharon en el dialogue. Sobre todo la que tiene que ver con churn, ¿verdad? Que, que es una de las palabras a little bit hard or a little bit difficult to pronounce. Pero lo vamos a hacer para que le entremos a la pronunciación. Sobre todo, guys, vamos a hacerlo porque me interesa que ustedes noten cómo, dónde poner la mayor fuerza de voz, pero a la vez, guys, que no, para no sonar tan robots, right, tenemos que aprender a leer bien, poner la fuerza de voz donde tiene y al mismo tiempo hacer un ritmo. Sí, con, cuando estamos eh, leyendo, ¿sí? Tenemos que mantener un ritmo, no, so, no solamente le Ven que hay personas que leen bien flat. Flat es como bien lo mismo. Claro. ¿no? Exacto, y no expresan emotions, ni nada. No, güey. No. En español y en inglés, imagínense. Entonces vamos a aprender no solamente the stress of the syllable, sino también el rhythm. El rhythm, el ritmo, ¿sí? Rhythm. ¿Saben cómo se dice rhythm o cómo se escribe rhythm? ¿No? Yes. Oh. Ah, no. R H Y Ajá. Y, ¿te quedaste en el Y? R H Y T H M. Wine. R H Y. Ah, Y. Mienta. H M, no. Rhythm. No, sin E, sin every. Sin E. Rhythm. 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 Rhythm es ritmo. Rhythm. Miren, rhythm. Rhythm. Ah, ok. Ese es ritmo. Entonces vamos a aprender la pronunciation de the words, where we need to emphasize the strong pronunciation y el rhythm. Eso es lo que vamos a aprender ahorita. Pero ahorita solo se lo voy a poner, porque estoy, estoy queriendo que practiquen, miren, el listening. Lo está costando el listening, ¿verdad? I know it's the hardest part, por eso es que lo bateo con el listening y ustedes casi me ahorcan, pero it's really, really hard, right? No, yo sé si sí. no crean, gran psiqui la que tengo yo. Sí, que I'm gonna kill you. Sí, no crean. Vale. Entonces, quiero, le voy a poner el listening. Solo les voy a poner el listening two times. Y la tercera sí les voy a compartir a ustedes la, toda la sentence. Y para que vean dónde vamos a poner la mayor fuerza de voz. Así que no creen. Ay, si yo sé que ustedes de vez en cuando me quieren ahorcar. Vamos. Y después vamos a practicar con tres oraciones que las tengo sacadas de ahí del, del dialogue. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok. So, entremos en materia. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Ready yes. to rock and roll? Yeah, oh, okay, that's the spirit. Very good. Okay, then okay. let's share right now my screen with you. There you go. Okay. The exercise nine, pronunciation, stress and rhythm, part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay, second time. Let me pray it one more time. Page 53, exercise 9, pronunciation, stress and rhythm, part A. Listen and practice. Notice how stressed words and syllables occur with a regular rhythm. When people get married in Japan, 
They sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Okay. Vieron como lo decía. When people get married in the pond, they sometimes have a ceremony on a shrine, right? Así era, ¿verdad? Bye. Ahorita se lo voy a poner la sentence con donde vamos la mayor fuerza de voz y a ver si me lo pronuncian, ¿les parece? Okay. Ay, Jorgito, what a, what, what a face you have. Okay. Este Jorgito tiene una carita de inspiración. All right, very good. Let me just one moment. Déjenme ponerlo por aquí y lo vamos a compartir. What is the meaning of the shrine? Shrine is a um, <laughs> templo. Ah, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Es templo, templo, templo. Lo que vimos atrás cuando lo, con los, las personas que se estaban casando, ¿te recuerdas? Yes. All right. All right. So let me share right now my screen with you. Okay. There you go. That's the sentence, guys. That's the sentence that we have listened right now. Mira, es la sentence que acabamos de ver. Mira, mira oh, cómo va. Si tú te fijas, las bolitas no solamente nos dicen dónde vamos a poner la mayor fuerza de voz, sino también nos va a ayudar a cambiar el ritmo. No va a decir, when people get married in the pine, they sometimes have the ceremony the shrine. Ve que se ha ido bien raro. Así como que no quisieras leer, ¿verdad? Vaya. ¿Quién se avienta a leérmelo? Sí. Me. No, 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 no veo. ¿Quién? Gerardo, Gerardo. Gerardo, go ahead, sir, go ahead. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony and the shrine. Very good. Muy bien. Solo que fíjate que, que me cortaste el ceremony and a shrine. A, a, a shrine. Necesito okay. que lo hagas más fluidito. Dale otra vez. Okay. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. At a shrine. Ara. De un solo. Ara. At a shrine. Ajá. Muy bien. O, dale otra vez más, pero quiero que esto me lo juntes. Ara. Okay. Mm -hmm. When people get married in Japan, they sometimes have the ceremony at a shrine. Very good. Muy bien. Excellent. Good job. Viste, ya pronunciaste la, donde iban las bolitas, donde tenías que poner la fuerza, pero ves que ya pusiste ritmo cuando estabas leyendo. ¿Ves? Y uniste el ara, ara, ara shrine. Es cuesta esa palabra, yo sé. <ríe> Muy bien. Tengo tres sentences más para ustedes. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Pero fíjense que estas no tienen bolitas. ¿De qué? It doesn't have the, the bolitas. La bolita es como que te ayuda a como la guía de donde vas a poner, ¿verdad? Pero no. Entonces vamos a ver qué tal le va, ¿verdad? I teacher, you're so mean. Sí. Me enorgullezco. Ah. <laughs> ok, allow me just a couple of minutes. Vaya. Pero fíjense que. La teacher es buena onda. ¿En qué sentido? Bueno, en que sí tiene también un listening para esas tres que le voy a poner. A ver. Pulido, right? Ah, me encanta esa palabra. I like that one. All righty. But guys, listen carefully, right? Listen carefully. The three following sentences, right? This time I'm going to play it only one time. Only one time. So you got to pay 100% focus on that. And then we are going to practice the pronunciation. Okay? Cool. All righty. Cool. Let me just a couple of minutes. There's a dog barking there. All right. Okay. No noise, please. Check. I think it's like Carlitos. Yes. It is Carlitos who's working there. Or is Miguelito? Miguelito was a Miguelito. Ahí Miguelito. All right. So let me share right now my screen with you guys. 53, exercise 9, part B. Listen to the stress and rhythm in these sentences. Then practice them. 1. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. 2. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. 3. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Okay.
Okay, that's enough, right? Suficiente, that's enough. All righty. So, guys, just one more. Bit, no, one more time. No, Alex, only one time. I'm a bad <laughs> teacher right now. Why? Because I want you to focus on that and try to do your best. Remember, guys, that the first part, when you put when la 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 la, coma, you continue with explanation. So there's a space there. When you have a coma, please respect punctuation. Okay, punctuation is really important. So let me share right now with you. Okay, there you go. Uh -huh. Let me put it a little bit bigger. All right, that's the biggest that I want. Nietzsche, what a biggest one. Let me check. Let me just move a little bit more. There you go. Okay, cool. Let me cut this in some pieces. We're gonna do, guys, a battle. Vamos a hacer una batalla, ¿les parece? No. Come on now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who said no? Nelsie? No. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, all righty. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Okay. There you go. Let me share right now my screen with you one more time. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Kurama is dead. What? Kurama is dead. Kurama. What is Kurama? Boruto. Naruto. Is dead? Kurama. Kurama. What does that mean? Seven colors. Ah. I got it. <laughs> All righty. So bear with me for a moment. You see it, guys? See? Lo pueden ver? Yeah. Yes. Pero la teacher ve bien mala onda porque le va a quitar los otros, fíjense, para que no hagan trampa. <laughs> okay. So, guys, let me get, let me check with the first one. Volunteer. Thank you, Nubi. <laughs> okay. All right. The first one, please. Number one. After. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Very good. Good pronunciation. Congratulations, Nubi. But please, try to, uh, to show more confidence. Go ahead. Okay. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Very good. En esta, en esta te, 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 te trabas un poquito. Déjame ver. Eh, o sea, no es que te trabe, sino que no, no hay confidence en esta. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, dale okay. otra vez. After the ceremony, there's a reception with family and friends. Very good, hoy sí, hoy sí me gustó. Excellent. Number two, Alex. Okay. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give the present. No, no me gustó. Bien flat. Why? <laughs> no me gustó. Ajá, dale otra vez. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give the presents. Ajá. Hay algo que no me gustó. Ya te voy a decir qué es. Ajá. Okay. Pronunciame. Ya te voy a decir lo que me quiero que me pronuncie. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah. Pronunciame esa solamente. Guess. Guess. No, no gets. Guess. Guest. Uh -huh. Groom. Groom. Them. Groom. Them. Them. Pre presents. 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 Ajá, uh -huh. porque no es present de presente, sino que es presents de, de, the de regalos. Ajá, uh -huh. the gift. Mm -hmm. Muy bien, dale otra vez, you can do it. Before the guests leave, the bride and mm -hmm. groom give the Give them presents. Otra vez, quiero que son es más self confident. Go ahead, you can do it. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Sí, pero esa parte de give them presents no me gusta, son es muy flat. Dale otra vez. <laughs> okay. Before, before the guests leave, the bride and groom give the give yeah. them presents. 
dale otra vez porque te trabaste, dale otra vez. Before, okay. Before the guests leave, the bride and groom give them presents. Very good. Hoy sí, mira. Hoy sí. Todavía flat, pero estás mejor. Te felicito. Very good job. <laughs> Yo sé que no es fácil, yo sé que no es fácil. And the last one, Ivis. ¿Estás ahí conmigo? Yes. Go ahead, sir. Eh, Ma'am, the last one, please. The guests usually give money to the bridge and groom. To the bridge, no, to the bride. Oh. To the bride. Sí, yo me equivoqué, pero bride. es bride. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Uh -huh. Esta, guests. Yes. Otra vez. Yes. The guests. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. yes. The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. To the bride and groom. Otra vez, dale. To the bride and groom. Dale otra vez. <laughs> to the guests usually give money to the bride. No. Bride. <laughs> otra vez. Dale. <laughs> The guests usually give money to the bride and groom. Very good, very good. Entonces, ven chicos, aquí el after y el before, aparte del when, estos chicos son los que nosotros llamamos adverbial clauses of time. Entonces, hoy ya saben cómo podemos usarlo. Any questions, any doubts? It was difficult, the pronunciation, right? Pero congratulations, guys. You did an amazing job. See? You put your extra power, your extra heart, and I'm so happy about it. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue practicing tomorrow, okay? Okay, teacher. okay teacher. Carlitos Antonio is really sleepy, and he wants to go and have <laughs> dinner. All right? Okay, guys. <laughs> so, for joining today's class. Hugs. And kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.